Hello everyone, welcome to the drug review series. Today we are going to take a look at lisinopril. Lisinopril is an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, also known as an ACE inhibitor. It blocks the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. A lower level of angiotensin 2 results in higher renin activity, with lower aldosterone secretion. This ultimately causes a reduction in blood pressure. Lisinopril is most commonly used for hypertension. According to the American Heart Association 2017 Hypertension Guideline, ACE inhibitors, including lisinopril, is an excellent choice as an initial agent for hypertension in most uncomplicated patients. This drug can also be used in heart failure, which slows the progression of heart failure and reduces untoward cardiovascular events. Lisinopril can also be used within 24 hours of ST elevated myocardial infarction, which is a kind of heart attack. It can also be used in chronic kidney diseases, which helps to slow the progression of the disease. Generally it could be started at a low dose of 2.5 mg to 10 mg per day. It can be further increased to a maximum of 40 mg per day. Common side effects of lisinopril include dizziness, hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, syncope, and cough. In my opinion, lisinopril is a well-established drug for hypertension. However, many of my patients complain about cough after taking the drug. Such cough is caused by a chemical called bradykinin. The cough cannot be solved by common cough syrup. If cough becomes very annoying or serious, your doctor may suggest a switch to an angiotensin receptor blocker. If you are diagnosed with hypertension, please remember to measure your blood pressure at least once daily for monitoring. Do not rely on drugs alone for hypertension. Other lifestyle modifications are also important. That's all about lisinopril. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like. I'm willing to answer all sorts of questions. See you next time.